She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park, the passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show. And today it's a special day, and it's getting close to Valentine's Day, and I need to make a cute little dessert to serve at my Valentine's luncheon. And you know, I need something petite. You know, they don't like these big, thick desserts. I don't know why. I like them. But some people like fruit. And today I'm going to show you how to take canned pear halves and some red hots and make them a great fruit side dish that your friends will really like. I'm going to show you how to make it up next. I'll be right back. You'll need the following ingredients to make my red hot pears. One can pears in juice. One bag of red hot candies. Some food coloring. A saucepan. Here's how you put it together. Welcome back. Making my Valentine pears is super simple. All you need is a can of pears in juice. We're gonna take the juice from the pears and separate them and put just the juice part in the saucepan on medium high heat until it gets kinda boily. Now that the fruit juice is uh, simmering, we're gonna add 1 4 cup of the red hot candies. And you can just measure those out and dump them on in. Stir things every once in a while to make sure that they have a chance to dissolve. Wow, that smells just like a melted fireball. Okay, our red hots have now disintegrated in the fruit juice. We're going to set this aside to cool down just a bit. If there's any pieces left, you can strain them out, but they just add interest uh, to your fruit salad. Our cinnamon mixture has had a moment to cool down. We're going to take the pears that we have set aside and just dump them on in. And give them a good stir around. This cinnamon sauce is real great over top ice cream. There we go. Now, we're going to take the pears and put them in the refrigerator for a few hours to cool down and soak up the cinnamon flavor and the color. Welcome back. I have one of my red hot pears here and you know you can put them on a lettuce leaf or you could put them on ice cream or you know you can just enjoy them on their own on a plate and I can't wait to try it. Mmm! That's spicy hot and it's got the great pear flavor too and you know this will be great this Valentine's for your sweetie. It'll really warm them up. Mmm! That is good and hot too. Wow! and such a pretty color red. Mm. Tune in next time where I show you how to live on a budget. 
I'm Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. Visit me on the web at JolenesTrailerPark.com. Happy Valentine's Day, and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride in the step. double wide. Visit my store at jolinesugarbaker.com.